In this video, you'll learn how to calculate total and group summary values and display them within the data grid. I've already created a simple web page and added the data grid widget to it. This widget is bound to the orders array. To define different summaries for my grid, I'll specify the summary configuration option. This is the object that has the total items and group items fields. Let's define a total summary that is the sum of all sale amount values. For this purpose, I'll add a total item object to the total items array. I set the column field to sale amount so that the summary uses data from the sale amount column. Next, I specify the summary type. I'll set it to sum. And let's see the result. The summary value has been calculated and now it is displayed in the grid footer in the sale amount column. All right. Let's add two more total summary items, one to calculate the count of orders and an additional one to calculate the minimum order date. And let's see the result. Now let's change the text displayed for the minimum order date. For this purpose, I specify the customized text callback where I return the first at custom text plus the calculated summary value. And here it is. Let's group the grid by the employee column by setting the group index option for this column. I'll add a group summary item to calculate the count of orders in the group. In addition, I'll add a group summary to calculate the sale amount in the group. And let's see the result. Next, I'll set the summary item show in group footer field to true. Now the number of orders is displayed in the group header and the sales amount in the group footer. The total summaries are also displayed as defined. And that's it. To learn more about summary elements of the data grid widget and how to customize it, refer to documentation on our website. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.